was, was your body image uh, the contributing factor to your mental health problems? Uh, it wasn't. Um, when I was younger, I did kind of view myself as skinny, scrawny, and that kind of sort of thing. But it was only part as around the same time when I was about that age, like 10 or so, um, I'd moved from Dublin to Leash. And around, because the move was happening when I was so young, I was nervous and kind of lonely because I'd been taken from what I used to know and I just kind of felt completely isolated. So, kind of knock-on effect, everything snowballed kind of from after that. When did you decide to use mental health as a project? Well, the first time I dealt with mental health was in first year. I did a project on my granddad based on Alzheimer's as when I was uh, age of 13, uh, he diagnosed and passed away within those years and it kind of slowly built over the last couple of years from first year in the project of Alzheimer's to third year in the project of Alzheimer's. I kind of finally decided maybe after seeing and thinking about different mental illnesses for a while, maybe I should finally confront my own and see if it can really help me in a way. Can you tell me about the evolution of your work and the media that you're using and what effect the media has on your portrayal of your mental health? Well, it's kind of changed a lot since the beginning. I always kind of saw myself doing ceramics and originally that worked for me, mainly as kind of a grounding. Like any time I did have anxiety or panic attacks, it always relaxed me. It, it was the idea of working and having my hands busy kind of settled me down. But the thing that's always come for me kind of naturally is kind of like technology. So lately I've been delving down more into video, uh, audio, even manipulating photos using Photoshop. So I've been kind of trying to explain feelings of like anxiety, depression, like the overbearingness, like burdening of those, what would you call them? Um, suffocating kind of feelings like there's <laughs> very too many words that say. How would you like to continue this work? Where would you like to take it? And how can you be how would you like it to be shown? Well for the current practice I'm doing with the images that I want to make, um, I want to display them quite big and in certain ways kind of show people it's a very overbearing, nearly relentless issue that has to be brought to the forefront and have the awareness shown for it. That's why with me doing this, I want to bring the awareness for like anxiety, depression, things that are kind of still taboo to talk about. And I want, well, I'm currently actually trying to work with um, groups and actually get people to feel uncomfortable to talk about all these issues. Like I want to actually start opening up like group discussions and just make people feel comfortable about the stuff they've always felt uncomfortable about.